Shalom, everyone, and welcome to today's scripture with the Yabajin. And today's scripture comes from the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verses 3 through 5, and it reads as follows. But fornication and all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not be once named among you as becomes the Kodeshim. Neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving of thanks. For this ye know, that no whoremonger, nor unclean person, nor covetous man, who is an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Mashiach and of Yahuwah. Think about how you are living. Here in this passage of scripture, it starts off by saying, but fornication and all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not be once named among you as becomes the Kodeshim. We have to know that as children of the Most High Yah, we can't live like people who don't know Yah. We can't have fornication and uncleanness and, un and covetousness be named among us as his people. When people look at us and they see how we live, they should not see these things in our lives. We should not be living this way. We should not be participating in these things. We should not look like people who don't know Yah, who don't have any relationship with the Most High Yah. These sins should not be named among us. And unfortunately, when people look at people who profess to be the people of Yah, they see fornication, they see uncleanness, they see covetousness named amongst the people of Yah. And it should not be that way. There should not be, there should not only be a uh, difference, but we should live totally opposite to people who don't have a relationship with the Most High Yah. And it goes on to say, nor neither filthiness nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving of thanks. So we need to make sure that we're not, you know, having things come out of our mouth that is filthy, that is foolish talking, that is jesting. You know, sometimes people are sitting around and other people are, are um, telling dirty jokes, you know, and uh, vulgarity is coming out of their mouth, foolish things that are coming out of their mouth. And you don't you don't sit around and join in with them. You don't sit around and and uh, talk with them and have vulgarity come out of your mouth or have profanity come out of your mouth. Or you sit down and you start uh, telling the uh, the the nasty jokes with them. OK, the only thing that really should be coming out of your mouth should be a, a giving of thanks unto the Most High Yah. Okay? You don't sit down and talk like everybody else talks or speaks. All right? Because they're doing it, so I don't want to look out of place. So I'm just going to join in. Don't do that. That should not be named among you. And it goes on to say, for this ye know that no whoremonger, nor unclean person, nor covetous man who is an idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of Mashiach and of Yahuwah. So you cannot be a whoremonger. You cannot be out there, you know, whoring around with other people. Okay, you cannot be an unclean person. You cannot be a covetous person. You cannot look at what somebody else wants, has, 
and want it so much that you're willing to do anything that you can to get it. And you cannot participate in idolatry. Okay, you cannot um, put something or someone or some activity before the Most High Yah and worship it. And get caught up in it and get consumed in it and be obsessed by it. Or you're not going to inherit anything that has to do anything with the kingdom of the Mashiach and Yahuwah. So we've got to take the time out to look at how we're living. How we are carrying ourselves, what we're saying out of our mouths. To make sure that these sins, that this iniquity, that this type of wickedness is not in our lives. And it's a very thin line because a lot of times, depending on who you're associating with, who you're around when you're at work, when you don't know how to stand up and live like the the word of the Most High Yah tells us to live and we don't line our lives up with scripture, we can fall into the category of doing these things, of committing these sins. So let's take a spiritual inventory and see how we're living our lives because you don't want to be left out of the inheritance. We've got to live right. You're not just going to you know, get the inheritance of the in the kingdom and live any kind of way. So we've got to, you know, take a spiritual inventory, check ourselves, make sure, you know, that we're not committing fornication, that we're not participating in unclean things. All right. That can be anything from what you're looking at to what you're eating and what you're reading and what you're listening to. You know, stop wishing that you had what somebody else has or thinking that it should be yours when it belongs to somebody else. Okay, watch what you're saying out of your mouth. You know, don't Get around other people and go, oh, we were just we were just joking. We're just joking around and it's foolish talking. All right. It's it's what you're saying out of your mouth is nasty. It's filthy. It's vulgarity. That shouldn't be coming at those types of things shouldn't be coming out of your mouth. Don't just, you know, go along to get along in that moment. All right. So you you need to make sure that thanksgiving is coming out of your mouth. You're being thankful to the Most High Yah. You know, and you can't live a life of a whoremonger. You can't be an unclean person. And you need to check that idolatry because a lot of times you can be participating in idolatry by putting other things before the Most High Yah. Instead of keeping him first in your life. Don't put other people, other things and other activities before the Most High Yah. Don't give them first priority in your life. So take the time out to meditate on this passage of scripture today. You know, and watch how you are living. Remember, as you go throughout this day today, remember to keep the Most High Yah first place in every area of your life. Give him first place in every area of your of your life. Love him, praise him, worship him, bless his set apart name. Give him the hallelujah praise today. Have a blessed day, everyone. And with that, I will leave you with Shalom.